Hey there, this is Joe Simons with Salt Strong, and back when I was 28 years old, I had the biggest scare of my life to date, and I found out that I had skin cancer, and I had a little mole here on my arm that uh, ended up becoming melanoma, and it was the real deal, something that could have killed me. I thought it was going to take my arm away, uh, was my first scare, and then chemo was going to be next. Fortunately, the, the doctors and a lot of prayer was able to get all of it out. Got a few more scars up here. They took out a bunch of my lymph nodes. And for you dermatologists and people that have dealt with this before, it was the beginning of a stage two cancer and it was a Clark's level four. And there's only five levels of Clark's level and that's how deep it is. So five being the worst, I had a four. This is really, really deep. And it still looks like I got a little shark bite here of skin that was taken out. So what I wanna do in this video is share five things that, that I've learned and I've dealt with and, and really through a lot of research and talking to a lot of different dermatologists to prevent skin cancer from happening, especially for anglers that are out in the sun and especially for a lot of you people that are the weekend warriors like I was that were inside in an office all the time and all of a sudden out there getting exposed to really, really bright sun and a lot of harmful UV rays. So let's go over all five of them now. Number one is just the right clothing. And I've learned a lot from this over the years and I've tested out a lot of different stuff. And I'm talking about clothing that one is gonna be lightweight and still feel good and keep you cool. But number two, it's gonna protect you from the sun's harmful rays. Now we purposely, with all of our Salt Strong gear, these microfiber shirts you've seen a lot of, them, and whether you use ours or someone else's, make sure you get the highest UPF rating out there. That means it's gonna protect you from, from all the harmful rays out there, all the solar rays and everything. All of our shirts are at least 50 or more UPF rating, really, really important. And you might even wonder why you see people out outside or out fishing or even roofers, hey, why are they wearing all these long, long sleeves and why are they all covered up? Well, one, it protects you from the sun, but when you have the right gear on, it actually keeps you cooler. When you're out in the sun with your shirt off, it actually drains you. I mean, the sun is taking a ton of your energy away. And when you have the right gear on that is 50 UPF or more, it actually is protecting you. It's keeping you cool inside, and it's actually getting you a whole lot more energy. So you start with the shirt. You want something that's going to cover everything, meaning all the way down to your wrist. And you want to have long pants on as well. Now, there are going to be days where you want to get a little sun. I understand that. I'm guilty as well, which is why I came down with skin cancer. But anytime I can, you will see me wearing pants that go all the way down and completely covered up. And then even with the shoes, flip-flops was something that I wore all the time and I had some of the worst burns right here in the feet area. I'm sure a lot of you anglers know what I'm talking about. If you are going to wear flip-flops, that's fine. You'll see me wearing flip-flops. I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say I don't, but make sure you always put tons of sunscreen on there if you don't have shoes on. But there's tons of these kind of cool boating shoes that you can get that are waterproof and very breathable and won't stink. And I highly recommend you getting some. Number two is sunscreen, and not just any kind of sunscreen, this is really, really, really important, is to have sunscreen with zinc oxide. You might remember it, it's the old stuff the lifeguards would wear, it was all white and it would look like motor oil on their face. The great news is a lot of these sunscreen manufacturers and makers have found different ways to get zinc oxide in their sunscreens without it being that really white where you look like Casper the White Ghost. And the reason I say this is critically important is I have met with dermatologists in numerous states and they all have their own idea of their ideal sunscreen. One will recommend this brand, one will recommend this one. But the one thing they all have in common is every single one of them, 100% of them say, wear sunscreen with zinc oxide. And that goes for the, stun the stuff you're gonna put on your face, on your arms, on your hands, and even on your lips. I wanna show this, because this is my favorite one that I'm using, and I'm not sponsored by them or getting paid to do this, but it's Dr. Dan's, and you'll see here on the back, always look to see the active ingredients, and it says zinc oxide right there at the top, 3%. Now, you don't want it to be 50%. I don't even know if they make that. You want it somewhere in that one to usually eight to, sometimes you might even see 20% zinc oxide. The more zinc oxide, the more protection you're gonna have. It's why it says sunblock instead of sunscreen. It literally is blocking the rays off of you. So anytime that you can find sunscreen or even lip balm with zinc oxide, get it, put it on yourself, put it on your kids. Incredibly important. Number three is to check yourself before you wreck yourself. And here's what I mean by that. 
always be checking your skin for any kind of abnormalities. If you have moles, if they ever change colors, a lot of people ask, well, hey, Joe, how did you know when you had skin cancer? It was right here in my arm, and I was actually sitting in an airplane next to some random guy, and, he, and I had a mold that was definitely dark. It, it had turned kind of a dark red, and he mentioned something. He's like, man, you need, you need to get that checked out, and, and thank goodness I did because it definitely saved my arm. It saved me from getting chemo, and, and quite frankly, it might have just saved my life had I not gone in, and that ties in with this number three is go in and see a dermatologist at least once per year. I go every six to eight months now, and, and that's something that most people have to do once they've had melanoma. But anyone out there who is fishing and spending a lot of time in the sun, you should go once a year. It can actually save your life. Skin cancer takes a long time to, to kind of grow and spread and evolve, but then again, if you're taking a long time, like years before you see a dermatologist, it can spread. And once it starts spreading, that's when it can end your life. So please check yourself. Have a friend or have a spouse or girlfriend, boyfriend, checking your body or your back, any of the places that you know you get burned a lot. And if you've ever had a blister, if you've ever had your nose blister or your chest, your shoulders, some of the common places that get that blister when you've really been sunburned, always check that. That area of blister is hundreds of times more, more likely to get some kind of skin cancer than the part of skin that has not received blisters. And more importantly, don't get blisters. Number four, a couple different accessories. Number one is a hat. Having a hat on is critical. One, a hat with a nice bill is gonna protect your face and protect your forehead from getting burnt. It also, of course, keeps your head from getting burnt, especially you bald guys out there. Here's the kind of hat I like. I like the ones that have this performance material. It's one of my favorite. You will see me wearing some of the trucker stuff as well because it breathes well, but I found for me personally, I love to have this performance material. It breathes incredibly well. It's lightweight, it dries really fast, and of course it protects my head. So it's protecting all my head up here from getting uh, sun on my scalp, and then of course it protects a lot of my face from getting burnt. Now the other part here is the sunglasses. Now sunglasses have come a long way in the past 20 years, you know, in terms of now being polarized and you get water ones to protect your face. Notice how these go uh, around and they kind of go down versus some of the really thin ones. Uh, everyone's got their favorite sunglasses. You'll notice the ones that I always wear are gonna be a lot wider and they're gonna try to cover as much as possible. Not just so I can see really well out there with my polarized lenses, but also it's protecting the side of my eyes. A lot of people get skin cancer right in here. And you might be shocked to know this if you're not wearing glasses, you can actually develop skin cancer in and around your eye. People now the fifth and final one is something that I never started using until I came down with skin cancer, and it's these neck gaiters. This is performance one. There's a couple of things to really keep your eye out for is don't just get the crappy, cheap ones. Get ones that are a little bit more expensive and actually have a UPF rating. All the ones that we make in particular have 50 plus UPF rating. That's really, really critical. And these are made of the microfiber as well, so it's gonna keep you cool. It's gonna dry quickly and have that wicking technology. And then most importantly, it is going to protect you from the sun. Let me show you how I put this on real quick. Throw this down. You can put this over your head and there's a couple different ways to wear it. In a worst case, you have it to go over your neck. So it's gonna always protect your neck and protect your back of your neck and your front of your neck. But if you wanna do it the right way and really protect yourself, especially your extremities, your nose and your ears, you're gonna pull it up like this get it over your head, and if you have a hat on, you can even have it go over the back of your hat, like so. All right, here's what the neck gator looks like when you have it completely on. You can see my entire face is covered, my ears on my extremities are covered up, and even here on the back. I mean, everything now is really covered up, and uh, talk about some protection from the sun, and I feel cool. These neck gators make you feel incredibly cool all right, those are the five tips to protect yourself from the sun's harmful rays and hopefully avoid skin cancer. I obviously take this very seriously because it affected me and, and for a moment there I thought I was going to die. And because of that, we have made a line of both the buffs and the long sleeve performance shirts that anyone could afford. We got the nicest material we could possibly find. It's all 50 and above UPF rating, which is the highest that we've seen out there in the saltwater fishing industry. So we encourage you to go check that out on the Salt Strong shop page. And once again, we have one version that we've made affordable for every single angler out there. And one last little bonus tip for you men and maybe a couple of you women out there, and that is to grow a beard. 
facial hair is really, really critical in protecting yourself from the sun's harmful rays. The more facial hair you have, the more manly you look, and of course, the more sun protection you're going to have from the sun's harmful rays. So grow a beard out there, you anglers. For more fishing tips, more fishing awesomeness, and the strongest fishing gear for strong anglers, check out saltstrong.com. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wet a line